Right everyone, Rob Clatter here. Before I do a video showing you how to make a aluminium, little mini aluminium slingshot. So what I'll do next, I'll do a full tutorial showing you how to make this from a piece of um, aluminium sheet or plate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'll just talk about it as I go through the process and you know and then at the end I'll show you it finished in a bit more detail right so this is the tools and the materials you're going to need you're going to need a plate of aluminium any thickness a hammer some files a screwdriver some sandpaper a drill uh, a workbench a vice and possibly a hacksaw if I um, if I don't show everything you'll see it later anyway so the first thing you want to do oh you're also going to want some safety gear mask goggles ear protection so get your drill ready any size drill bit works but sometimes a smaller drill bit is better but you'll have to drill more holes but a bigger drill bit you drill less holes but the filing takes longer so what you do now this is my method you do this otherwise you basically drill holes around the edge of the design and that is how you cut it out it's a good way to cut out stuff on an inside curve but sometimes it's not so easy to do that so just drill it out this whole process took me about three hours and the actual drilling though takes about 20 minutes don't take that long it, it's quicker than you think so you just drill around like I said the more the more accurate you can get the drill holes the better so the closer together the better and like I said the smaller the better but Smaller, smaller means less filing, but it, it will take longer to drill. Larger holes takes quicker to drill and cut out, but there's a bit more filing, so pretty much equals out. So there it is, there's the whole pattern drilled out now. So what I do now is I get a flathead screwdriver and I hit between the drill holes and basically chisel out the design. And the closer the holes are to each other, the less work this is. In fact, if you, you can, if you're good enough, you can get the drill holes so close that you don't need to do this. So just keep going round, chiseling all the way round and then both sides. And the parts may just fall out. If not, what I sometimes do is I put it in the vise. And then... Just chisel out a little bit more. There, I was just giving it a pull, see if it would go, but it won't. So what I'm going to do is just chisel out a little bit more between the holes because I hadn't quite gone all the way around anyway. And then you'll actually see in a minute, as I do the last one, the aluminium actually starts bending anyway. There it is, it's getting ready to break. So I'll just pull it now. So just carry on like that till you've got the basic shape of your slingshot. Now this is where a hacksaw comes in handy now, so you can cut off some of the lumps. If you cut the lumps off it'll make it easier to file later. But there is another method for getting rid of those lumps, which I'll show you after the, the hacksaw method. Because although the hacksaw works, I find it is a lot of cutting. It's a long boring job, even for not a lot of cutting. So I sort of developed another method for getting rid of those little knobbly bits which is to chisel them off basically which you'll see in a second it's just me hammering that little bit off so that's one way if you get rid of those lamps it makes it easier to file you don't need to you can't file them down but the bigger they are the more filing it's going to be so this is the method to get rid of the other some lumps and bumps. I would recommend going around the whole thing doing this, getting off as many bumps as you can, 
to make the filing easier. So there it is, just chiseled that bit off. And that just means that when you file with the rasp file, it'll just make it easier and quicker. So I'm just going to chisel off a couple more bits now. If you've done really good drilling though, you won't have this problem. It's because I used quite a big drill bit. Bigger the drill bit, bigger the lumps and bumps. But it's quicker. You have to do less drills, drill holes, you know. So there it is, you can see it's getting a bit finer now. Now is the filing. So I'll use a rasp file first, flat rasp file, and like a round rasp file. Both take off a lot of material. And then afterwards you'd use a finer file. Now people say not to file like this, just back and forward, back and forward. But that tends to be with steel. I've been using those files for over 15 years, those same files. And they still cut really good with aluminium. Because the aluminium is soft enough that it doesn't damage the files, keep just pulling it back and forward. If you have to lift up the file every single time, it will take you twice as long. So now I'm just using the round file for the inside curve. Any curves you want to use the round file, any flat bits you want to use the, the flat file. And you're basically just shaping it now. Get it down to the black line. So just gradually shape it and shape it. And you can see it's getting to its you know finished shape now. And the other thing is the better you file it now, the less sanding you'll need to do and the better the finish. So take your time doing the better filing. Right now I'm using like a curved file to start rounding over the edges. And this is what makes it nice and smooth and curved on the handle in all those parts. So this is just shaping the handle now, taking the edges off. You could really, really, really round it off if you want to, actually make the handle round. But I chose to leave it this sort of shape. Now you want to do the little grooves for the bands that hold the uh, band. So what I use is a little chainsaw file or any round file to do that. Put it in the vise and then just cut in a groove basically. You can do this any way you want to. And that is where the bands go over and the elastic goes over that to hold the the bands down and then I'll just use a slightly bigger file just to round over those edges so that's those done next we're going to start sanding for the finish now so use some very rough sandpaper first and then you're going to work your way up to some finer sandpaper. Wet dry sandpaper, this is like 80 grit sandpaper I'm using at the minute. And you just sand every part of it inside outside and again the better you sand it now the better the finish will be. So take your time now to get rid of any scratches at this point. And then you work up to the like wet dry sandpaper. And again, the better you do it, the better the finish will be. So it's getting there. You can see some numbers now. I printed some numbers on mine because I wanted a date and a like, maker's mark.
So just using the wet dry sandpaper, just going all over it now. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just keep keep sanding, and your 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 slingshot is pretty much finished at this point, apart from putting the bands on. So you just need just need cleaning now. So I'm just about to polish mine in a minute. I'm just 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 showing it basically done. You you could do it a mo lot more if you want, and you could polish it better than I do, and then you'll get like a mirror finish and stuff like that. So next will be the polishing and what I use just for a quick decent polish is Brasso. You just it's got instructions on the tin, but you pretty much just take a bit off, rub it on, and you'll notice that the cloth starts to go black, and then you wipe the blackness off of what's left of the metal and it'll gradually polish it up. You get quite a good finish with Brasso on aluminium. So that is pretty much it, that is the slingshot done, now you just want to do the bands, so I'll just go over what bands I sometimes use, so there it is, and an easy way to get bands if you can't get like the proper stuff is um, this blue stuff which is exercise bands, stretch bands, there it is there, good elastic, good cheap elastic if you can't get the proper stuff, and just a piece of belt for the for the pouch you know but there's loads of, there's, there'll be a lot of videos online for proper um, elastic and all that so here it is done the bands are held on by little pieces of elastic themselves and they fold over yeah it's good I, I didn't get a chance to shoot it but I'll um, I'll mention that in the next section of video yeah that is it done and the whole process completely from beginning to end took three hours yeah so this is it done little aluminium slingshot I made I, I, the bands are just some um, exercise bands they're easy to get the pouch is just a piece of any bit of leather and the aluminium if I didn't mention it you can buy it on eBay cheap enough, but I get all my metal from Scrapyard. I'm lucky enough that I get it for free. But um, you can find bits of aluminium, skips and stuff like that. But, you know, it's entirely up to you. And with more care, you could do this even better. You could have it mirror finish, no scratches. You know, I just wanted to make something quick and basic for the uh, video. And the only thing is I haven't had time to shoot it tonight because it's, uh, it's night time now. So I may have to shoot it in another video. But yeah, there it is. WC17, so that's Weapon Collector 2017. And then on the other side, I put a one, because it's the first one I ever made. Aluminium one anyway. So yeah, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, you know, I hope you make yourself a nice little alum aluminium slingshot. Just before I go, I'll just say, if you want to support this channel, you can. Uh, it will say on there about Patreon. It's just coming up now. Uh, yeah, you can, support, you can support me through Patreon, or if you if you buy through Gearbest or Amazon, I've got links in the more info section. And every time you buy using those links, I get a small percentage of what you spend. So that's two different ways you can support me. One way is pretty much donating. The other way is just buying stuff that you want anyway so yeah all right i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful don't forget to subscribe and all that see you later